What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Highway Spec. My name is Trent. Super excited to take you through this one today and it's going to be the Chevy Camaro. So we've done the Corvette before. I've done a couple, you know, like I did the Tahoe video, but there's just something about the Camaro that is, you know, totally unique. Um, it is offered in a wide variety of motors from 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder to a V6 to a V8 to, I mean, it's just all over the place and honestly the the new look of the Camaro bothered me a little bit at first I didn't necessarily like the front end but it's grown on me so I wanted to give it an opportunity to see what we could come up with in terms of spec and what works well with the Camaro so let's jump into it Guess we should go to the performance tab, that makes a lot of sense. So I mean this does start at 25,000 which is not bad. Let's go ahead and build and price. Okay, so difference between coupe convertible, normally I'm a convertible person and this the Camaro doesn't have the best. Uh, what am I trying to say? The coupe has a lot of blind spots, and like I said, I'm normally a convertible person, but I think I think we're gonna go coupe. All right, so it starts us off with an SS model. But you can get a six-speed manual with that turbo four-cylinder. And you can do it in the 1LT and get the 3.6 as an option. I did not realize you could get 3LT turbo four. LT1, that's 6.2 liter V8. SS and then the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 of the ZL1. So the SS looks good. And you've got that LT1, which is kind of like a stripped down SS, still has that motor, which honestly is a good value buy for sure. But for me, if I'm going Camaro, going all out love the front end of the ZL1 and even though the automatic is pretty solid I think I still gotta go row your own alright now the tough part color choice because it looks good in a lot of different colors I see a fair amount of white ones it looks good Interesting the green option. Shadow gray looks good. Reset blue looks good. That's a bright color. I think I'm gonna scream it from the rooftops. We're gonna go with crush. So now the question is, do you go with the extreme track performance model? So it gives you different wheels, satin black hood wrap, different front splitter, dive planes. I mean, it's, let's see what it looks like. $7,500 option, but it looks good. It looks that much more aggressive when you do that. Originally, I was thinking, no, I wouldn't go with this. I'd just go with the standard ZL1 instead of the 1LE. It'd be a little bit less extreme for driving around, but man. Gets rid of the rear camera for the mirror. Uh, 
Yeah, that, that just looks aggressive. I think I'm going to have to go all out with that one. It's $315 just to get black wheel nuts. Interesting. Alright, so that also puts us at 325 rear tires. Now, if we weren't going with the 1LE, I'd say I'd probably want a sunroof, but if you're going for the full track extreme package, we're going to leave the sunroof off. Don't really need a car cover. Don't need navigation. Normally I'd be all about the red seat belts, but with an orange exterior, I feel like that's not gonna flow very well, even though we do have red brake calipers. Instrument panel trim, probably just right in here. Carbon fiber, no, don't need to spend $500 on that. We're already at $72,090. And I think these are all going to be dealer installed stuff that doesn't necessarily relate to how it would come from the factory. So we'll call that a summary right there. Alright, so what do we think? Camaro ZL1 with the 1LE package in Orange Crush. It looks pretty extreme, and I, I like it. If it doesn't sound loud enough, then <laughs> this thing's got to be obnoxiously loud. That's just how it all looks. Um, total price ends up being $73,590. $1,500 cash allowance, puts you at 72 grand, which is a lot for a Camaro, absolutely, but what a good looking and high performing Camaro, that's for sure. Alright, so that's my spec on the 2020 Chevrolet Camaro. How would you spec it out? I want to see your specs. Feel free to drop them in the comments below, highwayspec at gmail.com. Um, but also make sure to check out our podcast, Highway Spec Hot Takes. It's a link in the description below. And also find us on social media, Highway Spec on all of it. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Hey, everybody. First and foremost, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I love doing these videos. They're so much fun for me. And with that in mind, I'm going to do more of them. So now you will get a highway spec video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mondays will be max spec. Wednesdays will be a regular spec video. And Fridays, they'll be changing out with different spec ideas. I think you'll really enjoy it. And because I love doing this so much, I've also launched the Highway Spec Hot Takes podcast where we talk about the latest and greatest car news on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So now you've got five days of highway spec coverage coverage sure we'll go with that anyway appreciate it links in the description below thank you again